All right, this is data lesson part two. You should now be on page 261. It says use the chart to answer questions one through five. So we're going to use this chart to answer the entire page. It says Grady made a tally chart to show the number of each color marker he had in his art box. So here's our title, colors of markers. Here's our labels, color, number, rows. We haven't touched on that very much yet. Rows are across, columns are up and down. That'll be very important when we get back on May 4th and we're doing arrays. We'll learn about rows and columns a little bit more. So we have colors of markers, color, number. We have red, orange, green. Here they are in tally marks. What I like to do when I see a tally chart is I like to go ahead and count them and write the numbers so I don't have to recount them over and over again. So we have four, there's five, six, and two. Complete the pictograph to show the information from the tally chart. Title, colors of markers, here's our labels, red, orange, green. Each triangle equals one marker. So we're using triangles to represent each marker and we're doing one is our interval that we're counting by. So red, we need four. So one, two, three, four. For orange, we need six. Three, four, five, six. And for green, we need two. One, two. Okay, there's our pictograph. How many markers does Grady have in his art box? Well, it doesn't say a certain color. So we're assuming that it means all the markers. So we are counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That took a while. We have been doing addition more than um, adding together four numbers at a time. We could have just done four and six is 10 and two more is 12. That would have been faster than counting by ones. And I bet some of y'all did that. Number three, Grady shows Mel the pictograph. How can Mel use the pictograph to find the number of red markers in Grady's art box? Think about it. That's right. She can count the symbols or count the triangles. So use your best handwriting to answer that in a complete sentence. I want to see what you're gonna write. Shade the bar graph to match the pictograph in problem one. Okay, so we have our pictograph and now we're gonna create a bar graph using this information. So for red, we have four. If you look at our intervals, we are counting by twos. They do have the ones marked off also though. So we need four. So we're going to go up to four on red. I'm not going to make this perfect. Okay. I'm just not. Okay. Orange is six. So we're going to get the six. And the reason I'm not gonna make it perfect is because y'all know how to color. This is a math lesson, not a coloring lesson. And green is two. So we're gonna color it too. I want y'all to color better than what I'm doing though. Number five, explain how to use the bar graph to find the number of orange markers in Grady's art box. Well, you could say that you counted up to six, that you followed the line to, and then went over to match the number. I want to see what you're going to write on that. Okay. Now we're going to do our next page. So turn the page to 262. Okay, the four children in Gabby's family ate grapes. Gabby ate eight grapes. Travis ate six grapes. Vanna ate two grapes. And Kirby ate four grapes. Which information best matches 
or sorry, which graph best matches the information? Well, let's look at each pictograph. We have our title, we have our labels, we have our scale. Each grape equals one grape. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Wait a second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's correct. Sometimes you need to double check yourself. Oh, I gotta double check me. Okay, so eight grapes. Yes, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Five grapes. Uh-oh, our information says he ate six grapes. So it can't be this one. There's a mistake on that one. Okay, let's check out B. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Mm, no. Gabby ate eight. That can't be right. Let's look at this third graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's correct so far. One, two, three, four, five, six for Travis. Yes, we got that correct. Good. Vanna, one, two. Mm-hmm, two for Vanna. Kirby, one, two, three, four. Four, okay, this matches. But just in case I made a mistake, you never know, maybe I got too excited, counted too quickly. Maybe I accidentally skipped over one. We better check this last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, there's the mistake. Okay, so we know that C for sure is correct. Okie dokie, number two. Which bar graph best shows the number of grapes the children ate? Okay, so. Now we're moving on to bar graphs. Let's look at our intervals. We're counting by ones. Okay, Gabby needs eight. Up, oh, it shows four. That's not right. Let's look at B. Gabby has eight. Okay, good. Travis has six. All right, so far so good. Vanna has two. All right, and Kirby has four. Well, I think that's correct, but once again, let's double check the other ones just in case. Okay, Gabby, six. No, no, she needs eight, so this is wrong. Okay, Gabby, eight. Gabby, eight, eight. Travis, six. Mm, yep, yeah. okay. Vanna, three. No, she ate four. No, she ate two, sorry, she ate two. Either way, it is incorrect. So nope, not D, so we have B. Okay, good job today, guys.